Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin. But they still reveal things to us. As they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table, the story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Thrower's Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. My name is Jordan, and I am the Game Master for 10 Candles One-Shots. I'm Chris, and I'm playing Senator Brightburn. I'm Jeff, and I'm playing Vance Doolin. This is Johnny playing Senator Blame. This is Jeremy playing Evan Gilmore. So... At the end of the last session, we had a candle go out, and we found out that something is happening outside of the building, and we're starting to hear shouts. What do you all want to do? Make our way to the transport vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's the first step in doing that? Down the stairs. Okay. Go ahead and roll your dice. No ones, no ones, no ones. All sixes. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Four I sixes. got four sixes. Okay. Any ones? Nope. Not a one. Okay. Oh my so, goodness. We should play ten candles with Jeff Mora. <laughs> so uh, you uh, you can't maintain control of narration because I did not roll any sixes. Uh, we get to the ground floor and two security guards are down there at the bottom waiting to escort us to the transport. Okay. Where, is, where are the rest of you? We were told that there were ten guards. There's ten, right? Senator? Ten were assigned to, to escort us, yes. So I'll ask one of the guards. So, the leader of the guard steps forward. The leader of the, for, of the um, building security needed backup because of issues that are happening outside, and those men went outside to, to assist with, with the uh, sustaining the safety of the building. What direction did they go? Northeast. We we should go we should go try to grab as many as we can. We ensured them that they'd be with us, and we need them. Let's grab the transport and swing by and pick them up if we can. Captain, do you have communication with the guards outside at all? No, comms are down. You have a walkie-talkie. Yeah, it's not working. All right, lead the way to the transport. You take us to the transport. You pointing to the second guard. Go see if there's any of them still alive, and bring as many back to the transport as you can. Okay. So you you go through the doors. It's like got one of those circular driveways in front of fancy office buildings and hotels and things mm-hmm. like that. Um, and you can see that the van is there. Looks like they've set up some of those portable lights mm-hmm. on a pole, but the power on those are, is starting to flicker. And you can hear, like, a chorus of gasps and wretches coming from all sides of the, the inky blackness surrounding the, the flickering salt lights. We need to, we need to move. We need to, we need to get out of here. I guess Evan just starts to beeline it towards the... Yeah, I think we would all start beelining Go it. Go ahead and make a roll for me. Yeah. I'm staying behind the guard. <laughs> It's his job. I'm going to be on it. It's his job to protect me. Yeah, I got one six and a one. Okay. You want to re-roll the one? How do I re-roll the one? You burn, burn your top card. Burn the top card. And what does that actually mean? You mean you get to re-roll? And it means you would get to re-roll the that, one. That's it. that's it. Unless it's your moment where you can re-roll everything. What's the negative of spending the card? Yeah. Uh, it just promotes the next thing to the top. Okay, but what does that mean? I'm just confused. means you have less cards to burn. I mean, yeah, it means that you, like your 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 character is getting closer to the its brink. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So does that mean that like as we're role playing, like the top card is what we are? That's your active card. Yes. What we're actively trying to portray. Right. Yes. Yeah. So that means we're not portraying that card anymore. You can still kind of portray it, but it's not really as strong as it was previously. Okay. Mm, no, I'm not going to re-roll it then. Okay, then I get that one. Yeah. I've got four dice. You've got six. 
I but, mean, it's, it's, but you succeeded in getting to the yep. Yeah. So so go ahead and narrate narrate your success. All right. So Evan runs over, uh, hops in the driver's side, and the keys are there, and he just turns it on and just like is turn switching on everything that he can just to for light to like come on like interior lights exterior lights the flashers are on like everything like that's going to create light i would imagine that this is like a um a one a luxury bus you know like one of those uh, i was actually picking more of like an armored limousine but yeah uh, no i was thinking luxury bus oh i was just picturing like a 15 passenger van that's, yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was thinking too yeah yeah so, what do you want? You want a 15, 15 passenger van? Do you have you actually have narrative control? Yeah, yeah, fifteen passenger van. Okay, so it's probably not something that the senators are used to. No, probably not. At, at this stage in their career, mm. no. nope. Um, I'm kind of looking, kind of for that other guy who ran off and trying to see where he is. Um, you hear some random gunshots. I'll call out and say, "We're leaving! Hurry if you want to come with us." The hissing around you starts to increase. Also, look in the glove box to see if there's a flashlight. One of those like big honking ones that like have a trigger on it. <laughs> Go ahead and roll for that. Ugh. Of course. <laughs> Again, I'm sitting behind the guard. <laughs> oh my gosh! How many guns? Well, if you fail, the candle goes out. Oh, I didn't fail. I got a six. Oh, I need to. Oh, that's true. I only got one six. How many did you get? I got one six. Okay. So what does that, that mean? Goes to you. It goes to me. Okay. How many ones did you get? One. Oh, yeah. I'm out of dice. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to burn a card. Which one are you burning? Um, top one, which was greed. <laughs> All right. So and I just re-roll the one. Yep. And it's not a one. Yay. Yay. So yes, there's a flashlight. Okay. Uh, one of the big ones, and I. Uh, click it on and I'm just like steady like around and you can see like um, they look like cephalopods with beaks it looks like you see a child running away from the light as well uh. do we all see that or just him oh yeah anybody who's looking at the lights can see that stop where are you going I also was beelining it to the van yeah so, so you're yelling at the the child it stops, and it just opens its mouth, and in this high-pitched voice, it starts going. No, no, I, no. I, I'm gonna make one last scream. We're leaving, and then I'll jump in the van. Wait, wait! And I'm assuming you, you, you were the last one in mm-hmm. the van, and you get closer. You hear that bam, 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 bam on the doors. It's a, we should be able to see. Okay. So you can see like these two arms and then they start jerking like they're moving and the screen gets higher and higher in pitch. No, no, <laughs> and then it stops. Drive for it. You're driving? Well, I was, yeah. He was in the driver's seat, so. Okay, go ahead and roll your dice. <laughs> Jordan likes this game. <laughs> I got a six. I got zero sixes. And no ones. Woo. So when does a five five? When you get to your moment mo- your and moment? you succeed on your okay. moment, All right. then you get your hope die. So my moment is actually on top now. Okay. So what is your moment? My moment is I will find hope in saving one of the five technicians that actually can run the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, <laughs> is your guy on the way? <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't been able to contact anybody. So. One of you has a phone. Oh, I got two of them. We have two phones. <laughs> hey, so I we, whip it out and start calling yeah, people. We need to get a hold of these people. We need them at the bunker now. Rodney. Okay. Rodney. Rodney. All right. Go ahead and call Rodney and roll your dice to see if you get Rodney on the phone. Go, <laughs> go. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to burn my honesty. Very nice. And re-roll with just the one. Six! Six. Oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, man. I need to look something up in the rules real quick. Sorry, guys. 
long as your page turning doesn't blow out one of the candles, will be fine. <laughs> I would relight <really> that. <laughs> Jordan can't see these candles. I can just be swapping them out. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the box. <laughs> Yes, that's that's what happens. So I shouldn't have hold, held on to these dice, I, and I apologize for that. All but one. Yeah. All right. So you only get it. So he the, keeps them for that scene. So when the and candle, when the candle goes, goes, out. goes out, one he keeps another one. So then we'd be down two dice, and then we okay. get all of them back. So I made you burn some cards, but not necessarily on purpose. All right. So you guys are in the bus, and you're riding along. Thudding over. He now, succeeded man. at calling. Okay. So you succeeded at calling. Yes. So did you? Were you able to get Rodney on the phone? Yes. Rodney. Hello? Rodney. Yes? Uh, you need to get to the bunker now. Oh, dear God. But... Get there, to the bunker! Get there, to the bunker! There, no! No! <laughs> Do you have an Austrian in the car with you? <laughs> no, no, just get to the bunker as quick as you can. I, I, I'm really We're headed a, there now. I'm really afraid to leave my apartment. How far away is he from the bunker? Is he on the way at all? Yeah, he would be. Tell him we'll stop by and we'll pick him up. We'll swing by and pick you up. Just be ready to jump into the van as quick as you can. I'm really afraid. Suck it up. Okay, do we want to try to reach the, the hydroponics people? I was going to ask, but I'm afraid to ask. Do we need to make a roll for each person that we need to call? So well, there's two hydroponics people we had in mind. We have two And they phones. were together, so. They were together? That's what he said. Okay. So we'll we only need to call, call one place. place. Yeah. Here's the number. Yeah. No! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So what'd you get? Well, we succeeded. <laughs> Two guess. sixes and four ones. I would say re-roll that. <clears throat> it's up to him. He's gonna lose his moment now. What's your moment? I will find hope when I save the life of my worst opponent from them. Who's your worst opponent? I hadn't decided. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't sound like you want to burn your card. I mean, we would just lose four dice for the rest of the scene. Yeah. And when does the scene end? When the candle goes out. So we'd just be closer to John, burning. that was you. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> you boys breathe we, heavy. We almost ended the scene right there. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have another choice. You didn't have another choice. No, I really didn't. Okay. Hello? 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 Was your partner there with you? Yeah, yeah, Monica's here. All right, you need to get to the bunker as soon as possible. Okay, um, I think we have a car. Don't tell me you're stoned. How do you think I got good at hydroponics? <laughs> Just get to the bunker as fast as you can. Okay, man, um... Try not to die. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> not putting up with that conversation. <laughs> You said that they were good at their job. We can't yeah, have someone who's high all job. the time. Doesn't matter if he's high, he's good at what he does. He can grow anything. This is evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Are we almost to... To Rodney's? To Rodney's. Yes, we're almost to Rodney's. Give him a call, tell him to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> Just honk your horn. Just yeah, yeah, honk the horn. Just let him know we're here. <laughs> okay. The apartment building is completely black. Like, there's no lights on at all in the windows. You can... Do we send somebody in? We need him. We only have one guard with us, so I'm not sending him. Well, it's dark in there. It's light in here. We've got a big honking flashlight. Just keep honking the horn until he comes out. Turn the flashlight at the windows. No. Training the flashlight on the, the front door of the apartment building. You feel like the back of the van sink down. I someone put climbed it, on the back? I put it into reverse. Okay. I wouldn't run over whatever is there. You can see, like, a uh, outline right through the window. Rodney? Does it look like a human? Yes. Rodney? Does it look like a human when you shine the flashlight on it? Yeah, flashlight. It does. It looks like a small child. Is that little girl from before? It's a little boy. A little boy, so it's different. It looks like they have tentacles wrapped around their neck. Yeah, then take care of it. That oh, sounds like you're giving an order. I am. It sounds like you want to maintain control. Yep. Go ahead and roll some dice. Now, do you get all five or you just get four? 
Uh, see, I got one six and one one. Do you want to give the one to me? No. Nope. I got two sixes. Yeah, we need to. He, he uh, has control if you don't roll a six on this reroll. Yeah, get rid of that lazy card. Do something, George. I mean, <laughs> send it. Uh, uh, could be worse, but I have control. So, the lights on the back of the van start breaking. It feels like the back tires start to oh get lifted gosh. off the ground. Oh no. Oh no. This is a four wheel drive at 50 pesos, right? I don't think so. <laughs> um, are those typically rear wheel yes, drive? Yes, they are typically yeah, rear wheel. Uh, we, we paid you to protect us. <laughs> Do something. Okay, uh, on the count on. of three, I'm going to open the door. What? No, no, hold on. Out, out of game, real quick. I've decided that. One of my worst opponents. I've been debating this the entire time. It's definitely one of these three guys. Okay. Um, it's Johnny. <laughs> okay. I, I I don't like the senator. Okay. Just the senator that keeps putting government regulations. Giving orders but not doing anything. Yeah. The company that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assist the guard that's with us. I'm going to grab the, the like a crowbar or whatever the the pry bar, mm -hmm. the tire iron whatever it is. When he opens the door, I'm just going to start slamming it into the face of the thing. Okay. Go ahead and roll the die. Does he get to, do you get to use your hope dice? I get to use my hope dice, right? Because he succeeded last time. With his no, so so are, you, are you activating your hope now? Yes. So when you're activating your hope, you go ahead and roll. If you get a success, then you get to start using your hope die. But you also get to bone... You, you're burning that, that moment. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'm never gonna get my hopes so. up. <laughs> <laughs> that face. What'd you get? Five ones? No. Oh gosh. <laughs> there is no chance he could. Two fives, two threes, one four. So that ends the scene. Just no success. No successes. Wow. Go ahead and put out one of these candles, Jeremy. How many dice do you have, Jordan? I have. You should have two now. Five. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you two. All. We know these things. The world is dark. We lose our security officer. I lose my arm. Oh! Can't trust who we see. And there are flashes of light on the horizon. And all together. And, and we, we are, are still alive. alive. All right. So... You are now armless. Go ahead and describe how you lost your arm, Jeff. <coughs> so when the guard got pulled from the van, it also grabbed my arm, but I was in a position where I got caught on the door that was closed, uh -huh. and it just ripped my arm right off. <sighs> and while I was screaming, grabbed the other door and slammed it shut on whatever was reaching through. So there's an extra arm in the car, but it's not yours. And it's flopping around on the on the seat next to him. We need to go. I don't think we can wait for Rodney. We need to go. Right now. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> drive. Well, yeah, as soon as the tires got lifted up, that's what probably would have happened. Yeah. I'm just back there screaming. My Okay. You're the one driving, correct? Yes. Okay. Well let's go ahead and roll the dice to see if you guys can get away from whatever's holding it up. Question. Do I still burn my hope? Oh my gosh. Mm. Well, because you activated it and failed. No sixes. Okay. Do you want to burn a card? <laughs> no ones. So you can't even. I can't even reroll. So yeah. it ends the scene there. All right. Well, go ahead and give me a die. And put us put out a candle. Uh, I love how you guys are pulling the candles away with pens to blow them out as gently as you can. Yep. <laughs> Johnny sneezes and ends the game. <laughs> we know these things are true. The world is dark. Jordan is dark. <laughs> As we drive away, we see Rodney in the distance behind us. I am bleeding out and fall unconscious. The creature's arm is moving through the van. Took all of Jeremy's ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, and the lights seem to be getting closer. Okay. And we, we are, are still, still alive. alive. So you're driving away. There is an arm flopping around in the back. It slithers off the seat and underneath the seat. We need to stop his bleeding. 
Okay. Does anyone know any first aid? No, we didn't grab the medic before we left. I know some basic first aid. I can try and I'm gonna I want to try and stop. Okay. The bleeding. T- tie tie a belt around his upper arm. Around the stump. The shoulder is where it came off at. What's oh, the, really? Yeah. Your whole entire yeah, arm? Yeah, my entire arm. Well, I got so three sixes. My arm is gone. But I got two ones. Okay. I'm going to burn a card to try to keep these ones okay. in circulation. I'm burning uh, compassionate. Oh. <laughs> in trying to be compassionate, you burn your compassion. Yep. Not ones. Okay. So three sixes. We passed. Okay. Um, I managed to... How do you know? <laughs> no, I got two sixes. <laughs> right. We managed... It was even a tie. We would have right. we, we, I managed to stop the blood. I we, I managed to use um, a jacket or something to wad up and my belt to kind of tie it around. So he's cinched a little bit. So his other arm, he can't move too well. But the bleeding stopped. Um, I'm okay with that. And then through some coaxing, I actually get you to kind of regain consciousness a little bit. Um, He's better off unconscious. I think yeah, was better off unconscious. The I didn't even notice that the arm was in the bottom of the truck. So I'm, I'm driving, so unaware. I don't know. I didn't notice it come inside, so I didn't know to look for it on the floor. So, like uh, next te- technician on the list is Chelsea. Where is he? On the way? Uh, no, no, not on the way. Uh, on the way enough that we could we won't lose too much time. <sighs> Ten minutes. We we need we need him. I'll call. I'll take his phone and call. Okay. Except you got no arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an arm. One. I got one six. I got one six. Ah yes. Any ones? No ones. Woo. There we go. Hot roll. Chelsea, this is Senator Blaine. Uh, we need you to get to the bunker immediately. Do you, you have transportation you can get there within the next fifteen minutes? Uh. Th- Yes, I do have my bicycle. Uh, oh my gosh. gosh. Why would you do this to that person? <laughs> well, my girlfriend took the car, and <laughs> um, she hasn't been back in three days. So. All right, we're going to come pick you up. Be ready to run to the vehicle the second we get there. Keep him on the phone. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. We'll... So how's the weather out there? Like, uh, should I pack a raincoat, or...? That is the least of your worries. <laughs> it's dry <laughs> inside the bunker. Evan is being serious. He's like, light your trash on fire. Okay. It uh, will give off light. Should I, like, dump it in the front yard or something and light it on fire? Or Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't stay on the too, phone. Don't spend too much time outside, though. All right, well, I guess it's time to put my archery skills to use. See if I can fire into, fire into a trash can. Set the neighbor's house on fire. Oh, oh God! What did you do? So property damage. Uh, insurance is still going to work, right? Sure. Uh, we're going to be in the bunker. That's least of our concerns. Okay. Vance, you feel something slither up the leg of your pants. <laughs> <laughs> something is. <laughs> what, 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 what is wrong with you? I start shaking my leg. Violently, I look down at his leg, and I get I see like the end of the tentacle squiggle up, and I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> we gotta dump him out the back. He's one of them now. <laughs> <laughs> well, dang! I will survive. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have you roll for that. Pretty much. <laughs> I got a six. I got one six, and I got three, oh, three ones. <laughs> oh. Oh, Yay! Gosh. I want to try and <laughs> fight, fight him back. We succeed, though. He controls the narrative. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try and take the narrative. Punch you in the face with my good arm. But it's tied down to your body. Doesn't matter. Head I'm still going to try. Headbutt him. Yeah. One, six. No six. I know sixes. You going to burn a card? Yeah, yeah. I got one. I'm going to burn a card. My vindictive. It's a three. So we tied. So I think we're just wrestling now in the back. Okay. I'm trying to like pull the door open and throw him out. But my brink is at the top of my deck now. You burned through all your cards. Yes. 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 <laughs> I mean, you only had four. Um, so now I'm like kind of wrestling with you. I'm trying to open the door at the same time and. I'm 
trying to say, get it off from me. Evan's in the front. What's going on back there? He's one of them. I saw a tentacle. It's the arm. Okay, it's I... the arm. I, I look back and see if I can see what he's yelling about while you're wrestling with him. If I see the tentacle or arm or whatever it is that's crawling up his leg, I'm going to uh, grab it and throw it out the side door, like, over the side door and just throw it and close the door immediately. It's my goal. I don't even have to tell you. No. Gosh, a lot of place. Oh my goodness. Hey. I got three sixes. Woo. Yes, Johnny! Any ones? Nope. Three sixes and a five. So, I grab it, I it open, up, through and I open up the sliding side door, throw it out, and slam the door closed. You try to slam the door closed. Mm-hmm. But I we are either. driving. A hand catches it from the top. From the top? A small child's hand has scrapped onto the door. It's burn, because I got one one. Oh, gosh. Did you get any sixes? I got a six. Okay. One six. You've got to get another one. I have two sixes. Uh, I was never going to get my hope anyway, so. Oh, it was another one. <laughs> <laughs> my hope was uh, I, when I had my first real meal inside the bunker. Oh. <laughs> but it wasn't a fail. No. Okay. So the hand of a small child grabs the door from the inside, and all of these small, tiny looking, like, starfish start to flow down the arm of the kid and starts dropping into the van. Mm-hmm. And they start idea ever. And they start making like like they start chattering their little beaks together. Oh. <laughs> um I'm gonna like just try to start like kicking Stay and stomping on them and they start crawling up your body. I'm trying to get them off. Okay. I'm just desperately like wiping at myself. No, this is, this is not a good number. No, it's not a good number of dice. You got one six? One six. I got one six too. Mm-hmm. Did you get any ones? Nope. Oh. Alright, so I managed to scrape them all off my body <laughs> and I slammed the door the rest of the way. Okay. You got the ones that were on your body out of Okay, but it doesn't I don't care. Like I slammed the okay. I slammed the door. Okay? They you start feeling something crawling up the back of your oh. neck. That's why I yell up. How much longer until we get to whoever this other tech is? One is on me! You start feeling these pinching bites. Ah! My neck! Can I make a mat on him? My neck and my back! Can I see them or are they covered by like his clothing and stuff? <laughs> if you turn, if you like turn the light on, you can see them, but it looks like it's starting to burrow into his neck. Oh, God. All right, so I'm going to try and grab it. Okay. And stop it from happening. I like this idea. Go ahead. No sixes. Uh oh. Uh, and two ones. Oh no. gosh. Well, um, are you going to burn or are we just going to end the scene? scene. I'm going to end the scene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we need the dice back. I don't have my moment. We, we need the dice back. Two. 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 We know these things are true. The world is dark. I lose sight of the starfish on the back of your neck. My bandages have fallen off and I've fallen unconscious again. <sighs> It's starting to rain. And I hear the voices of children. Oh, no. And we we are are still alive. alive. Barely. Just barely. Let's go ahead and call it an end of episode. Thank you so much for listening to this one shot of 10 candles. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution non-commercial, no derivatives, 3.0 unported license. That means you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you'd like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is bonethrowerstheater. You can also look us up on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.